Hey folks, it's Ben. Here we go again. <laughs> Drag another one home. Here we have a 1987 Pontiac Bonneville. So front wheel drive. I believe it's an H body car. Um, I can't say it's new because uh, technically my wife owned this like 20 years ago and uh, it blew the transmission and uh, was parked in a field and uh, it sat there for 20 plus years and then I happened to be taking a car somewhere and be like, hey, can I get this car back? And they're like, yeah, sure. So here we go. So now I have a 1987 Pontiac Bonneville and a Siamese cat checking it out, but we've had him for a while too. Uh, it's, uh, rear wheels are locked up and we have a little bit of uh, weight reduction on this door. This one might be done. This one is a little better, but what I was really concerned about and, and didn't really have too many concerns with is our body to frame connection is actually fairly there. So, uh, and the rocker panel is even there. So I'm pretty pleased with that. It's, there's no significant rust on the chassis. So I'm pretty tickled pink with that, but you know, here our, our fender well is toast. Right? So there are places where the sheet metal is toast, but ultimately, not so bad. Um, it is a 3.8 car, not a series one though, just the regular 3.8. Um, it's got totes of stuff in there, just paperwork and things, uh, but I can't get them off cause it's in the trailer. Uh, it has a fairly, you know, for Bonneville, not a lot going on here. <laughs> we have a speedometer. If we'd focus on that, please. Fuel gauge. And a temperature gauge. There's no tachometer on a Bonneville? You're serious. This has got to be a low-end guy. Doesn't have cruise control. No way. Delay wipers, yes. Uh, cruise control, no. And look at that. I wish I'd known that earlier. I drove this car over here with the window down. Thinking the battery was dead. But it has roll windows. And manual locks. So, okay. <laughs> we got that going for us. The Hood is closed. I had to close it because we hauled it on the trailer. Please work. Please work. I think it released it. Oh, I see that's kind of broken, so I have to massage it up. Oh, Lord. Not going to hold itself up. Here is a 3.1, a 3.8 liter Buick V6. What's that say? Sequential fuel injection so pretty fancy coils plugs uh biggest thing i've noticed here no mices so that'll be interesting maybe in the box some plants but ultimately not too bad and it's a bonneville so it does have some space and it is an ac car so we got that going for us is there any uh engine oil in this thing yeah there's all the oil in this thing. That might be water in there, so I'll have to be wary of that. What kind of water is it? Is it coolant water? Nope. Pump full. So this thing's doing okay so far. Don't know if it's free to turn or not. Oh, it's got the double positive going on there. Interesting. Oh, so that's not bad. Got a lot of nice parts anyway. Mass airflow sensor, like my AV6 Regal which this is technically the same kind so nice uh light there fenders are very replaceable nice thing is it does have keys so back to the interior here which i don't know why i rolled this window up the trailer makes it impossible to there we go uh further inside what have we got oh uh systems monitor and does that say AC? I don't, oh, there it is. Yeah, AC vent, heater, defrost. So very basic, radio is missing. Over there is the door. Check out the glove box here in a second. It's missing some paneling, but you know, not awful. I'm not, I'm thinking this window is up and the guy helping me out was. Bumper's been pulled out a little bit. I'm guessing this has a sliding medallion. I don't know, actually. Uh, the tail light is in the back seat. Yeah, something. There we go. If I 
put it in the right way, that always helps. Oh, really? It says no. There we go. Come on. Ah. There's the mice we were looking for. Holy Moses. That is moss. Like, wow. Something was there. Cool. There's mices. There's speakers. There's Jack. And power steering fluid. Dum dum dum. I think that's my RPO code sticker. Not so much there anymore. I'm guessing the moisture and stuff wore it out. Unless it's sitting on top of the... Yeah, this is so wet. I'll be surprised if anything's left. That's not even on right. There's eggs of something. Lots of mice poops and holy. That doesn't say at all right there. How bad that is. That is rusty. And like I said, oof, did not need that. So we'll leave that open. There's the van again, cool. Holy crap, hello. <laughs> Someone was getting in and out of there. I'm guessing based on the... Sporty, just wait. Kitty wants to come outside through here to the little wasp heaven. I love those taillights, they're just so smooth. More fender edge. That's plastic. So uh, my wife was saying it was slightly repaired prior. So it's not news that there's been a little repair work to it. <clears throat> not sure I can get to that glove box. Might have to hop in it. That's gonna be gross. It's got uh, 205, 75, 14s with hubcaps. That's sweet. You know, oh crap, it's broken. So you could paint these to be white. Those are slick looking. Do have a broken indicator, so we'll have to trash pick something like that if we do anything with this car. Looks like we've got broken trim too. That's metal. So that's heavy. So there you have it. Initial video and tour. Looks like this has got moisture in it and that's why it's dark. Might be able to bring that back. Bonneville label's missing. There's half the value of the car. Oh, we could roll the window down. Get me thinking. Oh, mice have gotten to that. That didn't help the moisture issue at all. Let's see if there's any trunk left in this thing. I pull this out. Put the window mostly down. Let's see what's in here. Nice. 87 owner's manual. General Mills Candyland. 87 Pontiac owner's manual. Nice. Something. Key blanks. Looks like it sold from Grove Pontiac and Spruce Grove, Alberta. So there you go. Some nice nibbles there and doesn't look like there's anything else. That's a cool find. A little bit more history. Tote's been sitting there for a while, but yeah, so there you have it. Pretty neat car. There's the tail lamp. So we'll be able to put that back in some trim pieces. We've got to get it off the car first. The rear end is, like I said, locked up. So we had to drag it onto the trailer, which wasn't fun. So I think I'll jack it up on the trailer and uh, do some pounding on this to get it rolling again. And then we can just shush it into the pile. There's the cobalt, which is getting parted out. The sweet van and the 94 Regal. The Series 1 38, not just the plain Jane. But yeah, um, and we really have to take a look and see, is this something we want to put a drivetrain in? We got an Ecotech right there. I mean, why would you put that in a base Bonneville? I don't know, but it's got, you got to save the striping. Anyway, if you have any questions on this, there'll be more videos when, I'm not sure, but eventually. And uh, if you have comments, leave them and subscribe to my channel. Turbo 231 for more car videos and small motor vi videos are coming up. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good day. And I'll leave you with 20 seconds of cards. There's a little bit of body filler here. And 
a little bit of rust. I got all four hubcaps, but I don't have anything that has 14 inch wheels. You got anything with 14 inch wheels, Fergus? No, he doesn't either. Dual exhaust tips on that. It's not bad. It's pretty clean.